the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Because love is greater and never fails. I mean, can I go to the Y? But see, never fails what? It never fails in any situation in life. Well, you see, you see, when he's talking about at the end, when he's talking about that, uh -huh. when he's talking about not about these three things, right? what he's trying to get you to understand is, is that all these people that have these other gifts, who try to make that gift the thing in the body of Christ yeah, yeah. Give it and give it rank. What he's trying to tell you is, is that the gift that preserves the relationship of oneness has a place not only now, but in eternity. Okay, okay. You know, when, when, I, when I think in terms of it, Addressing that specific issue that was brought forth in 11 makes sense that it fits. <laughs> but now the question becomes is the point of the CIT to ensure that if it's an accurate CIT, wouldn't it fit in every aspect, every every situation in the Bible throughout? You see what I'm saying? I, I know specifically we were, we were saying, okay, it works in a situation where they were having conflict with unity. And when we look at 11, we realize that they are addressing unity, right? Right. And so, yes, yes, it does. When we get specific on that, we have to we have to encompass the words unity within it. I think we have to bring those in, in the being too in play. But if we're saying that it is the foundation, which broadens the scope a lot, it really broadens the scope a whole bunch. It, it, it brought it to the point where it's applicable to every other instance. So we can write specific CITs on different areas of the Bible, but the foundation of it would still be the fact that love has to be a part of that mix in order for it to work, regardless of where you're at. As far as the unity of the body was concerned, in this particular instance, love was, is mandatory that, they, that it be there, or else why it doesn't. Right. Okay, but what I, I understand what Bishop is saying, and I understand what you're saying. Of course, it's going to apply. Like I said, it's going to apply from Genesis to Revelation. We're not talking the application, but that, We're but that's not it. We're talking what provoked Paul to say these specific words about this specific topic to these specific people. At this specific, at that specific at time. At that time. Okay. That makes why sense. was that needed? Okay. And why did the spirit provoke him to do that? And then in in grabbing all that, then then and and then write your CIT on that. On that on that specific area to just that isolated incident, the isolated incident. It's, it's really, it's, it's more than that. It's, it's because it's, it's about what was going on in that time for him to actually say that. You, you, you know, at it, that but, time. It, it, but in, 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 in that light, then it gives credit to what Pastor Taylor was saying because what he does is he, Identify specific concerning love that allowed them to continue on in you, endure all things, believe all things, uh, okay. so forth and so on. So okay. it's like there are certain aspects of love that facilitated their continued unity. So what, that, that, what, that, what, what, what thing? Mm -hmm. What thing did he talk about? Endure well, what? He, what he was dealing with in accordance with, with our, our discussion right now, when we looked at 11. We brought in that Paul was initially addressing this unity in, in, in the body of Christ. He goes on to say, I show you a better way. Out of all these other things that we got going on here, this is the best way to deal with it. And, and then he, he goes in and explains what aspects, what aspects of it that really facilitated that situation. Right. I don't see that in the CRT. 
the, in the CIT it says all things in the in the scripture in the text of that one to thirteen it says hope bears all things. It says it says it bears, endures, believes, hopes all things. Okay, what are all things? Define all, all things. That when I look at all, I can only say all things. Okay, define not all things. The, not just division. Not just not just health, healing. Uh, the vision, it, it, to me, it said covers encompass everything. I don't, it does not no. restrict it. All doesn't restrict so that's it. That's all you're talking about. All things doesn't mean just all things in June. All uh, things are talking about very specific things. Well, when, in this particular instance, what 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 was specific that, that caused the division among them? Those are the things Self. that you about. Self self caused division. I mean that there was an annotated actually in the text. What did he say was causing them to be divided? Self 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 promotion, self self uplifting, uh, prioritizing their the gifts. All that was all encompassed in there. It was all about themselves and their ability, their understanding. I'm an apostle, and you just a you just a floor sweeper. <laughs> Okay, and so, okay. When he, and so when he got into the explanation of love, beareth all things, believeth all things, they, it said, considered not itself, but consider those that hide themselves, vaulted not itself. So when it says it doesn't vault itself, that means it's not about puffing the chest out and stuff like that. It was about, I, I even would, Elder, I'd even go back to 11 when you got a man trying to prioritize himself over a woman and a woman trying to prioritize herself over a man right. and you can't have a man without a woman right. <laughs> and okay, vice versa yeah. so it, it even it's, it's breaking it down from even that aspect that's what i'm talking about you know the division <laughs> even the division and trying to promote self yep. in that aspect mm -hmm. all the way through to all the gifts you know it, i mean it's broken down and, it and, and then you got to encompass all that and, and, and I think that, that, in, that right. in that explanation of what it does, it did that. And that's what I was looking at. Like, there are specific aspects of love that he addresses. And when he says, bought it not itself, it says, considering other people by hiding and stuff, right. that would resolve the issue between the men and the women, you know, trying to other elevate themselves above one another. So I there was it. some aspect of love that dealt with every negative that was being presented in, in the scenario. Right. I, I guess the question is that you do is that you, if, if you, if, if everything, a lot of things you said is that when you got CIT, it needs to be within the text of that chapter, the words from that chapter. If you bring in division, I mean, if you spend, if, hey, 15, 15, 18 words, I, all those, the ones I put up there, they fit 18 words. They fit 18 words. I mean, I didn't, it, choose, this, I didn't choose this text. Uh, whoever chose this text should have thought about that when they chose this text. Yeah, I didn't I, choose it. Yeah. I chose that text, but I'm saying is I couldn't put. I'm saying is when, and this is this we said it so that we can. It's not just us for everybody listening. Would you? Are you saying when we do a CIT now, when people are doing their study, are they to to infer to pull something from words from the previous chapters? Well, if, you you know there. Go, go ahead, go Bishop. In, let, me, let me say this. If you go in and choose a text, you have to be very careful in the text that you choose. Right. If you go in and choose a text that's in the <laughs> middle of a discussion. Okay. We are free to put in stuff from the other text. You have no other choice. Oh, okay. Y'all hear that now. Uh, just... There is no way for you to write a CIT on chapter 13 and get the truth from it if you divorce it from the other chapters. Because in this chapter, he's talking about something that he started discussing earlier. Mm -hmm. So you can't write a CIT on chapter 13 alone because chapter 13 doesn't stand alone. It stands alone if you just want to say, okay, here's the definition of love. Yeah. But why is he talking about love? That's like taking uh, a speech and then when he says, and in conclusion, and then you just write it on in conclusion, but not on everything that was said before. Okay. But, and I think when you look at the intro to, to uh, 
13 is almost like it does that. It's almost like he, 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 he observed and, and, yeah. and coming on everything. And then he said, out of all these other resolutions, yeah, I'm going to show you something better. Right. <laughs> now, let me show you what's better. This is better than all this other stuff we been talking about. Right. And what we're doing is taking like, okay, you see, I agree with you. It is better than all you talked about. I think it also is better in this situation here too. I think it was the motivating factor behind this. I think in Genesis, this is why you know this love thing was the thing that drove the whole whole, whole situation. Yeah, he expanded all things. Yeah, and, I, and I, that's kind of like what happened with, with me. It was like, where does it not work? Okay. And I think and when Asher said that God is love, I mean, like, hey. How are we going to have a kingdom of God without God? <laughs> right. well, where do you dwell in? Do you dwell in love, right? God is love. But I see I see what Bishop was saying. And, and oh, yeah. I, I see if for, for future reference of a text or study of the CIT, if, if it's a bigger discussion, then we're saying is now we can bring in other, you know, like previous chapters to go to it. If it's right. Because if, this, this is the thing. This is the thing. And and this is why I, I tend to agree with Bishop. If we just take 13, 1 through 13, and you write it on that, right. then you have to grab Genesis through Revelation and encompass all that in you. I'm with it. But with if it. you start from the beginning of the conversation the discussion which was back in 11 mm -hmm. then you just writing basically about that specific what was done 11 12 and 13 because okay. it con it starts in 11 it concludes in 13 if you yeah. grab that then you write your CIT on that because if you just take uh 13 1 through 13 then it, it, it it's how can you use 18 words or, or anywhere in there to sum it up that, that's just me well, well, and that was my first statement i was like how, i well, can't i can't even conceive well you know we only have 13 words well when we think about the, the if we say that the core problem was disunity we can say that uh love dispels disunity because it, the application of love in those situations was going to resolve everything that the disunity was presenting. Right. So, so it, it, it kind of hit. I'm kind of getting interested in knowing where can we find a place where it doesn't work. You yeah, but you got, to, you, you got to go to the source of that. Well, what what causes disunity in this so, specific I mean, instant? What what is? It, I mean, there's just you got to you got to get to the root cause. Yeah, and, and this and, specific topic. And some and I think some of the verbiage that it was given in there shows where they were having errors, where they were having problems. So and I, I use something as simple as vaulting themselves up. One guy thinks he's a big shot or he got this title. But the worst is love doesn't vault itself. It doesn't it, it, it doesn't puff itself up. Mm -hmm. So that that dispelled that that issue right there. Uh considering others more higher than yourself or being more interested in well-being than somebody else. The women and men fighting against each other there, the who can talk and who can't talk and who can lead who can't lead. But if they were looking at where it says considering others higher than yourself, then I kind of deal with that. So there was some specific things that were happening in that particular situation where love really did, even though Paul used it as an aside in a sense, or kind of identified it as a cure-all, you can see how it fits in those in those particular instances. My my because my 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 CRT was so broad. When I looked at it, I'm saying like this thing fit everywhere. And so my my thing would be to go through and disprove it. You know what I'm saying? Like where doesn't it work? You know you know I, I want to find a situation where love, even as it's you know explained in that one through thirteen, where does it not work? And, and the other thing too, bro. Right, the whole scripture. Hey, look, and, and here's the other thing too, Bishop. That that thing doesn't end at 13. It just continue on. Uh, you know, we I, first of all, I agree with Bishop in the sense what you're talking about. Uh, the the is, is, is knowing what the conversations were before, but you know that thing doesn't even doesn't even stop at 13. No, it doesn't. You know what I mean? This this is a big discussion mm -hmm. uh, that. I, 
it, therefore, you can't you can't constrain it to no 13, 15, 18 words. Then. Well, in, well, you know, in 14, what he's doing now, he's moved on to application. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. But he's still talking, he said, follow after love and desire spiritual gifts, rather that you may prophesy. I mean, now it's going into, so you think that's a shift in the conversation? Because well, he, he's breaking down the different uh, gifts. Yeah. And, and, now, and, now, let me ask you a question. Whoa. That's deep so right why there. is love not included in chapter 12? 12? Say that again, Bishop. Why is love not included in the list of gifts in chapter 12? <laughs> love is not a gift, is it? Is it? I don't I don't I don't I don't I, I, I don't I don't perceive that either. If you look at it, it's almost like the it's it's the substance of things hope for it. <laughs> well, to me, love is the gift it is the gift well you said it's not addressed there though well, but I, and i understand that so so is it's, it's not it's it's the gift of love to me it, it manifests itself as these gifts in these 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 types of way that that's just <clears throat> my thought just off the bat but i'm not saying that that's something that i, I studied on or anything like that that's right. just what what uh what i see in general i think what Vince is trying to say is that when you were the 14 he said now i don't maybe I, it's not put included in 12 it's not included in 11 it's definitely addressed in 13. 13 is the foundation, Bishop, Elder. So now let me go to 14. And and now everything I'm writing off is tone based on love. Is that it's the moderator. It's, it's, it's like a, it's the moderator. In other words, my application to doing these things, the foundation is love. Now let's go into the application. In other and words, now I can go to property. Now I can go to tone. You see what I'm saying, brother? I said, man, because it, it, it was left out in 12. No. It, it, it appears to be like a moderator or something like that. You know what I'm saying? It's like a traffic light. Ah. It kind of it kind of governs how people are going to interact one with another. If you operate in the spirit of love, then there's some. I mean, I can, first can be called in correction to a spirit of vengeance or a spirit of love or a spirit of, you know, um, we just want to put somebody down. But if love is the effort, is, is the method that you employ, yeah. it's going to have a positive output. It's going to have a positive result anyway. Oh, and it does eggs, huh? Yeah. So I see what you're saying. That, that's exactly what I, I, I think that what you're coming from is I don't set the tone. It's the, the love. See what I'm saying, Elder? Like you said, that foundation. Mm -hmm. I, I, yeah. I set the tone that love is the foundation. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And, and that, that, Dude, man, that's pretty good. That's pretty good right there. Yeah, so now we can go into application now. Is what this is. I think this is just trying to say. Now we can go into application of these gifts. Prophesizing, speaking in tongues, edifying the church. Everything now is resting off of the foundation. Yes, yes. It's love. And, and, and so we have different gifts, but we have the same governor. It's the same government. I like that government. Yeah. The government should be upon his shoulders. So we have the same government, even though we have different gifts. Uh -huh. And if, if we're governed under the same principle of love or charity, then these gifts are going to work effectively together. Effective, right. Right. I, I see. If, if this is that, you think that's what you're saying? I got that. I think so, too. I, I think, Lisa, I'm understanding that's a good question. Why was it left out in 12, but now it's going into 14? Because the foundation now is love. And if you're not operating in that, you ain't even in the house. So you the gifts don't even that. count. <laughs> you may have the gifts, but you operate in some other area. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you're I, not in the I was hoping somebody was going to give us give a scripture. Because to say that is one thing, but you know, I only need a scripture. Because you can say anything you want to say, but when you open that book and turn to your birth, now, now you got my attention. <laughs> so, well, 
my question is, why is Love not listed in chapter 12? <laughs> He's talking spiritual gifts. 